Welcome back to the All Everything and Other News Show, 325. And for all of you listening to the first podcast, welcome to the first episode. Today is Monday, November 24th, 2014. Signs, billboards, and other forms of street advertising is to be replaced by trees and community notice boards in the French city of Grenoble. This will occur between January and April of next year, effective for all 326 advertising things, including 64 large billboards, all thanks to their mayor, Eric Piola. With all the notorious things our militarized police force have been doing, a new statistic has come to light. Since 2010, 300 homicides have been documented in Utah. Of those, 45 of them have been from the police, which is 15%. This is higher than murders committed by street gangs, drug dealers, or child abuse. However, spouse murder is still on the top of that list, which gets me to wonder how that can be in a state populated by the oh-so-nice members of the Mormonism cult. MI6 attempted to make someone disappear, but they are not yet as good as the U.S. A British citizen was, without charge, deported and wrongfully imprisoned in Guantanamo Bay 13 years ago, and there is now a social campaign to get Shaker Amar back home. The local government association, aka LGA, which speaks for nearly 400 councils in the England and Wales area, is demanding gum manufacturers to fork over 60 million pounds annually to pay for the laziness of people who can't find waste baskets to deposit their chewed gum. According to the LGA, it costs 50 times more to clean up the chewed wads than it does to make it. However, I believe we shouldn't punish the makers of the substance, but there should be a gum tax of sorts added to what the residents pay in normal taxes. Yes, it sucks, but hey, if you don't want to pay more, stop being lazy and find the trash can, you louts! Today from the past. In 1974, Jonald Johansson and Tom Gra discovered the 40% complete Australopithecus Afar Nss skeleton, nicknamed Lucy, in the Awash Valley of Ethiopia's Afar Depression. In 1973, a national speed limit was imposed on the Autobahn in Germany due to the 1973 oil crisis. The limit only lasted for four months. In 1971, during a severe thunderstorm over Washington State, a hijacker calling himself Dan Cooper, a.k.a. D.P. Cooper, parachuted from a Northwest Orient Airlines plane with $200,000 in ransom money. He was never found. In 1963, in the first live televised murder, Lee Harvey Oswald, the scapegoat for the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, was murdered two days after the historical event by Jack Ruby in the basement of the Dallas Police Department headquarters. And in 1859, Charles Darwin published On the Origin of Species, the anniversary on which is sometimes called Evolution Day. Geek News. I did find one story on Geek News today, but you know how I am. I'd rather have two or three before I actually make anything about it. So, unfortunately, there is no Geek News today. Which leads me to this. That's it for the show today. Links to everything I've talked about, as well as more information on those stories, as well as more stories I did not report on during today's show, as well as links to my personal Facebook and Twitter are in the underbar. And for those of you listening to this podcast, links or whatever are posted wherever the heck they are. I don't know how the format is. I don't know where to post things. So bear with me. They are where they are if they are somewhere. Don't forget to look right and left at every intersection and rate five thumbs and subscribe. You'll see me tomorrow.